Hello, this video demonstrates a functionality of Properties Plus module of CAD Plus Toolset Standard Edition, allowing you to batch modify custom properties using simple to use grid. This functionality is available in SolidWorks menu under CAD Plus Properties Plus. It is also available in SolidWorks toolbar. Let's activate this page. You can select components you want to modify custom properties for, and those are displayed in the grid along with the custom properties associated with those components. You can just load all references instead of selecting components one by one. Tool can work with document properties configuration specific as well as cat list properties. We can inspect properties in the grid, we can also hover our mouse or model or configuration to see the preview. Custom properties can be modified directly from the grid. Let's copy the expression from document level property and paste it into the configuration specific property. Green asterisk indicate that this property is going to be added to the module, while symbol of pencil indicate that this property is going to be modified. We can also delete or add new properties to the model. Let's add the property called weight. We can use SW mass formula to automatically calculate the weight based on SOLIDWORKS material. To apply the change, we need to click green tick on property manager page. And as you can see, properties have been created and the properties of the equation have been evaluated. Of course, sometimes you need some advanced tools and techniques to modify and validate your custom properties. And Microsoft Excel could be the best tool to do this job. Properties Plus allows to export custom properties grid into the Excel file. So let's do that. We can open this file in Excel to see our properties. We have selected to export evaluated values, but when you're going to modify the properties, it is recommended to export expressions. So let's click Export Expressions and we can override the same file. Let's open it in Excel. And as you can see, now all the properties are exported as expressions. Now we can use Excel functionality to easily propagate those values to all rows. So let's firstly propagate SW material property. And now let's do the same with SW mass property. Once completed, let's save our Excel file, close it and import it back into SOLIDWORKS. Let's use import properties functionality, open. And now you can see all our properties have been imported into properties grid. Let's click green tick. And now all the properties from the grid have been propagated to corresponding files and configurations. Let's open one of the files and validate the result. So as you can see, we have material and weight property, and also we have the same properties in the configuration specific tab. Properties Plus supports advanced modes of opening files such as large design review mode or lightweight mode. To improve performance, I'm going to leverage large design review mode to open this assembly. Although components are not loaded into the memory, Properties Plus can load all of the custom properties from document, configuration and cut list in the same way as when component is loaded into the memory. So let's export this now to Excel and modify part number for our well-made cut list properties. At first, I want to filter my rows based on a type and only show cut list properties. I'm going to create sequential part number such as P001, P002, etc. In order to implement that, I'm going to create an incrementing counter. Now I can compose my part number. It's going to consist with the prefix P followed by index. I also want to pad my index with three zeros, so I'm just going to use text function to do that. Properties Plus will only consider values in the cells which do not have any color as a fill. So let's remove the fill color from this cell and propagate it towards the end of our range. We also need to remove all extra columns, otherwise Properties Plus import will fail. So let's firstly remove our filter and show all rows. Now we can simply copy the values of our part number column and paste them back as values. Now we can safely remove the column which contains increment. We can save Excel file and import it back in SOLIDWORKS. Let's click Import Properties button and select our Excel file. And as you can see, part number property has been populated to all elements in our assembly. 
Let's click green tick to propagate those changes. The operation will only take few seconds. Now let's activate one of the parts and validate the result. So you can see there is a cut list. I can activate the properties of this cut list and you can see our part number property has been filled. Properties Plus is also available as a standalone tool, allowing you to view and edit properties of any SOLIDWORKS files outside of SOLIDWORKS, directly from Windows Files Explorer. You can also load configuration, cut list specific properties, you can see preview and you can import and export files to Excel. You can modify and save any SOLIDWORKS custom property. Note that in this case you don't even need to have SOLIDWORKS installed on that machine in order to use Properties Plus standalone. Thank you for watching this video.